Be very quiet, everybody. We don't want to startle it. It likes the fruit. I'll go. Huh? What is that? Like that? So yeah, that's what science says. Science tells you, here's what to think about this, okay? But what does history say? What does the actual written record across all time, across the plane of existence, everywhere in the realm that we live on, what do all of these records allude to? They allude to titanic beings walking our world and the gods being in charge and um, ruling over mankind and those gods warring with the titans who are even bigger than they were. This is a staple of the conspiracy nut. The idea that the myths and stories of ancient civilizations are true, even though there has been zero evidence to verify this. How do we rectify, for example, the many obviously conflicting stories that the various ancient civilizations wrote down? Oh, never mind that. Giants, they're cool. Now, something happened, a cataclysm to be specific, that wiped out all life on what we call Earth. Many of us have heard the idea of a worldwide cataclysm. Whether you're religious or, you know, you've looked into uh, the floods of, of Atlantis or things like that. When we imagine these things, we sort of first picture it like a, just a bunch of water and everything drowns. And then all of that stuff just kind of rots away and disappears. I just want to interject here to point out that he does shill his own videos that are supposedly deeper dives into this concepts and these... Uh, topics he's discussing here that might be for a later time for me to look at but right now i'm just going to look at this because this is supposed to be an overarching explanation of this topic and you don't really do a good job of explaining something if your reference if your explanation is always well look at this other thing first watch these 10 hours of material that we can understand my brief on the subject our realm. They walked our world. They pre-existed us. They were here before us. And there was an entire storyline that goes along with that. Now, so, basically, the Titans are real. This is not a fictitious um, subject. This is real. I'm dead serious when I talk about this. Why? Because I see the evidence for it all around us in the world that we live in. It's sad that he is so certain on this topic, yet he understands so little. Beyond being the definition of the Dunning-Kruger effect, Jay Dreamers follows the tried and true conspiracy idiot's guide of never actually citing sources or explaining points. I don't doubt his conviction. I doubt his comprehension. Um, we've been conditioned to bypass our instincts. That feeling that you get inside of you when you see something, like for example, this guy right here, my own particular mud fossil, okay? now. It's difficult with mud fossils on camera because there is no depth perception, okay? Uh, not only that, but the camera freaks out when you... Okay, so there's no depth perception. So you can't really tell like that this thing goes deep in, that I can place my entire thumb in there like that, okay? What? Yes, of course you could tell there's a hole there. You don't need to put your thumb in it. People have eyes. They can see this shit. People have seen rocks before. God damn it. You two are just dumber than a bag of hammers. And that there are these two holes right here where the arteries once were, where the blood flowed in and out of this particular part of the body, okay? This particular part of the body? What is that supposed to be? What is that thumb hole supposed to represent? Is that like a elbow? Is that a... I don't know. You're not saying. Use your words. Describe things. Jesus Christ. This once was alive. This was a part of something that was alive. This was actually on my desk at work um, back whenever I had it on my desk and I made sure everybody knew this is not a rock. You idiots can't even keep your own story straight. If it's the fossilized remains of a part of something then it's a rock by your definition. That's why you call them mud fossils. Titans walked this realm. They stomped the earth that you and I live on. We are like the Smurfs, okay? Um, which is based off of a true story. Okay, what the f It's based off of an esoteric hidden past. 
things like the Smurfs or if you're old enough to remember the cartoon The Littles and things of that nature. Now, the funny part is, if you dive deeper into this dude's belief system, that's not even the weird shit. What you just heard isn't that weird for this guy. We know this. We understand this. Collectively, there are things that subconsciously, memories that we hold on to. We know our world was once vastly different and more of a fantasy realm. So beautiful when we, when we really meditate on it. We can imagine the beauty and the air or just the smell of things and the, the oneness and the being in touch with nature and the giganticness of the ancient world to just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh. Irony. So the world was once a fantasy realm. Which fantasy realm would that be exactly? Which nonfiction author had it right? I know you are not talking about ancient texts here, because they don't mention this fantasy realm you talk about. Funny how quickly you change your argument, J-Dreamers, to suit your current needs. When we talk about the giganticness of prehistoric times, I don't want everyone to get thrown off by what we are actually instructed, what we're actually commanded to think when we're going to our school system. You know, we're being taught by uh, Dr. Doolittle and all those minions. They're telling us what to think when they talk about prehistoric times. We're supposed to imagine some volcano-filled world with, you know, little tyrannosauruses that are... Isn't that ridiculous? That's a Tyrannosaurus right there. Day, day. Like, that's supposed to be the most intimidating one or whatever. It's so stupid. Wow. That was really, really bad. Remember, people pay J Dreamers for content of this quality. You live on the same planet with people that send money to this failure. For me, that's a cover-up, okay? The whole concept of dinosaurs and all of these fossils that, that have only been introduced within like the last 100 years or something like that, okay? How is that an argument? Germ theory isn't that old. Do germs not exist? Wait, wait, don't fucking answer that. I think I know what you'd probably say. Now, that's another thing that we are not taught. You have to find this out, okay? We, we are taught dinosaurs from a young age. We're taught, oh, dinosaurs existed millions of years ago in the Jurassic period, and they give us movies to condition us so that it solidifies in our mind that that's a fact. Dinosaurs ruled, there was man, and then there was like, like, you know, nothing before man. There was like monkey man or crow magnon man. Then there was dinosaurs, you know? To just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh, irony. It's embarrassing how little J Dreamers understands. He's trying to make this argument that dinosaurs being introduced as the concept of dinosaurs is a newer trend and that's somehow hidden knowledge. But it's not hidden knowledge. You learned about when dinosaurs were discovered. That's part of the process of science education in like fucking middle school. It's not some grand conspiracy. You just choose, I'm going to assume, you choose to not accept that because how else would you make your money? I lean towards the whole dinosaur story being a cover-up for the truth, especially because it's only new. It's It's been newly introduced. This whole uh, fossil thing, you know, you go to a museum and you see these fossils of these giants called dinosaurs, the giant lizards, which is really interesting because if it is a cover-up, they could have made dinosaurs anything. They didn't have to be lizards, you know? They basically invented the story, so they could have been gigantic whatever they want. But instead, they made them gigantic reptilian beings, which I find to be very interesting and a part of the agenda, basically. To just continue talking until you feel like you've made sense. Huh. Irony. You never explain yourself. What is interesting about that? Do you have any proof that dinosaurs don't exist? No, of course not. You just need them to not exist because if they did exist, that would blow your whole fucking dumbass idea out of the water. This is textbook talking out of your ass the reality is that there are actual fossils okay 
all around our world. Oh, yes! Yes! Fossils are not things that, you know, uh, died millions of years ago and it took 10 million years for this to turn into stone or whatnot. Oh my no, God! Things can become petrified rather quickly, okay? Sometimes instantly, depending on the method that's used. Uh, look at that. Doesn't that look like a giant whale right behind me? Those two sentences, to me, are a perfect description of this entire series and his entire channel. A claim of the science being wrong with zero justification followed immediately by an appeal to pareidolia. You now have heard the entire video. If you choose to stop now, you will not be missing out on anything. Except of course, more of my excellent humor.